the Apoc Survival Longsword. APOC, I don't know how you say it, her logo does look like you just call it Apoc, like Apocalypse. But we got this from the usual place called of Athena. Here we go. So when they dropped this off, it was in the rain, of all things. They left it sitting halfway in the rain. I figured it would be fine. And it looks like it's fine. It does come with a scabbard. This is their survival longsword. Grip feels pretty good. It's a full tang. You see that? That's the metal. Right? No blemishes, it looks straight. It's definitely sharp. So the thing that I saw about it, if you're fighting somebody with a long sword, this is a pretty small cross guard. However, if you're like fighting with somebody with another sharp sword, I think generally it's giving enough protection where if the blade slips down on here, it would get caught in here, not hit your fingers. But if somebody's really whacking at you, you don't really have much of uh, protection. But odds are these, these days, I'm not gonna run into anyone else carrying a long sword if it was like an apocalypse. But you might, I don't know. Maybe another Apoc longsword user. So we can see how it cuts. The APOC or Apoc survival longsword. Ready? Wow, that is effortless. And uh, as you can see, it does come with a little bit of shine on it. That's your uh, typical packaging oil. So, not rusty at all. <laughs> that's pretty good. Do you want to cut a water bottle? Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. That's pretty sharp. One last look and then we'll just see if, uh, we'll check how pliable it is. Here it is. All right. And then this is a reasonable amount of pressure, but as you can see. For, a, uh, <laughs> this is a very affordable sword. Prices, of course, change, especially these days, but just to pick this up to have it is a, a, another sharp sword. I mean, it's, it's actually really uh, impressive for me. It's made in China, of all things, but um, I'd say it's a pretty solid, sturdy construction. This grips on there tight. It's a full tang. I hope you uh, liked the video and, and maybe made you decide on buying one or not. Uh, of course, you better hit that subscribe button or or else. <laughs> yeah. I forgot point of balance. Still recording? Yeah. And that's about where our that's this is about where our point of balance is right here. It, it feels pretty good in the hands. It's it's pretty balanced, I'd say. Uh, if you were looking for a rather cheap, sharp sword, this is uh, definitely, I'm um, definitely impressed. So if you haven't hit this uh, subscribe button yet, of course, do it now. Because when I do get things new to share, I always like to put up a review. So I hope you liked the video. Maybe help you decide on buying one of these or not. I'm going to uh, clean it off now, and then we're going to go skateboard, right? All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.